Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I ended up running across a different channel, another anti-auditor channel that goes by the name of First Amendment Shenanigans. And uh, by the date that I'm making this video, uh, December 3rd, 2023, he's only got two videos and 100 or so subscribers. But the two videos that he has produced are remarkably well put together. So this guy has got some talent with his... Uh, video making skills so i will leave a link in the description box below but in the meantime we can all sit back relax and enjoy watching one of his videos welcome back everyone to first amendment shenanigans let me start off by saying thank you for all my new subscribers and all the views you guys have uh put in um i really do appreciate it Please like, subscribe, share my page if you can. Um, I know there's a lot of different channels out there going after um, auditors, and I'm just proud to be a part of the community. So if there's anything I can do um, better, if you have any ideas, you want to send me a video, I'd love to get some feedback. Hey, um, with that being said, we're going to get right into the shenanigans. Uh, the group we're going after today is the famous uh, J-Town Press. Juana and her buddy Russ. You'll know them when you see them. Um, they're bothering people in a juvenile facility down in Georgia. And uh, as you would expect, they're, they're normal, rude, crude selves. Uh, so let the shenanigans begin. We're at the Thomas County. It is about... 8.50 in the morning on the 24th of October. Oh, you can count. Good for you. Start my new video. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. Juvenile services. What y'all looking for? Uh -oh. oh, no, you're good. Ooh, that's loud. Huh? <laughs> Notice the right the bell. Who are you guys again? I'm sorry, who are you? I work here. Oh, okay, what's your name? You need some help? No, no, I'm oh, good. I'll come get you okay. if I need anything, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll just take some pictures and stuff in the public areas. Yeah. You got some balls, huh? Are you, what? Oh, you yeah. told me I had balls? I don't, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's right. Wow. Big props to these two security officers. They do an amazing job. They're not even trying to entertain these two's garbage and nonsense in this office. They are professional. They don't give them any of their time. They just keep going about their day as if these two morons aren't even there. Good for them. Oh. Wow, how rude. Wow, I think that's kind of rude. <laughs> What you need? Oh, just just take some pictures and video of the public areas. Yeah. Are you a supervisor? Why? Do you need a supervisor? I was talking to him. It, it doesn't matter. Hey, can, do he not, can he we not follow up? We both work here. Do okay. you need a supervisor? Uh, yeah, I would like that one. Yeah, okay. sure. What you need? I just told you. A supervisor. What you need? <laughs> Are you a supervisor? What do you need? Okay, never mind. I'm in this conversation because <laughs> you obviously don't want to help. Pretty bold, bro. I'm pretty bold. False. They're trying to help. You just won't tell them why the hell you're in this office. You know, it's a normal response for two idiots. And by the way, take a look at Russ here. Uh, I mean, jean shorts and flip flops. Really? Dude, buy some clothes. You know, look professional. And maybe these people won't treat you like garbage. Because right now you look like a joke. I mean, Boy. what can we help you with? You you got got a public you. facility. What exactly. What you need? I just told you. <laughs> I'm the one in okay. charge. Okay. So what now do you need? You say I'm a supervisor. What? I was just saying, what's the what was the, what the attitude? I ain't no. We trying to figure out. You just come in here filming. We want to. Are we not allowed to? 
I, I want to know why. Why, why do you want to know why? It's because we just have youth coming here. We oh, it, it's well, a I, juvenile. I don't. Facility. I don't. I don't it's see any youth in here. It don't matter when uh, they okay. come to report. You look oh. for some clout. Some clout. Yeah. Now I was looking to look at public What's facilities, clout? sir. Okay. What's clout? Oh, now you want to get bold. Bold. Huh? Wow. Sir, I can assure you that this person right here does not want to get bold with you. Miss Julie, we we'll, we'll might need to call, call the police. Call, um, the down here. Why y'all calling us a disturbance? No, I we trying to figure out what is your purpose. Hey, sir. I'm in a public place, I'll tell sir. You what's going on? We're engaged in a constitutional protected activity. Come on, I just ask that you not come on, out please. Here, man. They all just looking for some some entertainment today. Wow, they how to rude, unprofessional. They trying to get you to say something so they can put it on live. Wow. Look at Russell's face right there. The officers called them out on their nonsense, and he is dumbfounded. They know exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to catch these people saying something wrong or doing something that they deem aggressive so that they can put it online for their dumb followers. And Russell looks right at Lana thinking, oh, what do we do now? Oh, they know exactly what we're doing. Oh, wow. oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Let, let us speak. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's close the door, Miss Ju. Don't, don't open the door. This is safety. Yeah. Close the door. Safe. Yeah, cameras are unsafe. Oh, wow. You mess around and get punched in the face. Is that what he said? So, that right there, pay attention to that because later on in the video, they are going to, I mean, for the next couple minutes, they're going to accuse these officers, these of uh, trying to punch them or threatening them. And later in the video, you'll see they aren't even sure what the police or what these officers said. They're just making this crap up. In their heads, they think they're being, you know, threatened just to make their video better. It's it's really pathetic. Everything good? Yeah, everything's good. We're done. Okay. All right. Are you going to punch us in the face? Is that what you said? <laughs> Uh, is that what you're? Is that what you're threatening? That now that's actually against the law. I am the law. Wow. Okay. Well, we got you on camera threatening to punch us in the face. So that's fine. We'll be more than happy to share it with them. Can I do a public Georgia uh, Open Records Act uh, request, please? Can I can I do a public records request, please? Sure, ma'am. Uh, a public record. I feel so bad for this worker. Her request name's Kimberly. She Georgia has Open no records idea Act? what these fools want. She's just trying to do her job and get through the day, just like everyone else. And you have these two fools bothering her, well, and asking like her all these asinine name. questions. I really feel bad for her. Well, I'd like to do a public records request, ma'am. Is your name Kimberly? Kimberly Garland? Are y'all refusing a uh, Open Records Act request? I'm trying to get Miss. Uh, I'm assuming her name's Kimberly. You Garland. have to contact the state office in Atlanta. No, I, I can give it to you orally or written. That's well, what the I, law I says. don't have the authority to give you. But any. I can. I can give it to you, and then you have to give it to the right person. That's how the law. You works. can't give it to me. I'm yes, not. Yes, I can. You, what, what's your name, sir? Are you refusing to identify? Kimberly Gar Garland. Is a program assistant. What you looking for? There's a badge. See if you have an ID. I really love how this guy just brushes these people off. He's like, what you looking at? Just chewing on his toothpick, not giving them any ounce of care. And it's probably infuriating them because you're not going to shake this dude. Like, if you haven't figured that out yet, he is not going to be shaken by your nonsense. I think she called the police. Good. We'll stick around. Are you law enforcement? Good morning. How you all? Good. You? Great. A lot better. Are you uh, you a supervisor by chance? No? I'm not sure why everybody's being so rude. I thought it was supposed to be Southern Hospitality. It is Southern Hospitality. Well, I know, but nobody wants to talk you to us. Good like, morning, man. Okay. Can I have your name, please? No, man. Why not? Why is that? Under the Georgia Open Records Act? 
Engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. What are y'all hiding back there? How do y'all treat the kids back there? Y'all punch them in the face too? I don't know if that's what he said, but it, it sounded like it. it I don't know if that's what he said, but it did sound like it. And there it is. Russell has no idea what he heard. He heard what he wanted to hear. And they have no clue what these guys are were talking about, what they said to them. They're just fools. They're just wandering around waiting for one of these people to say something wrong. It, it's, it's unbelievable this is how these morons spend their days. All right, it goes on like this for a long time. We're just going to cut it right to when the actual police officers get here to deal with these fools. Hello. Hey, yo, sir. Hello. Good, how are y'all? Good, what's your name, sir? Adam Lawson. Lawson, are you mm -hmm. a sergeant? I am. Is your is your body cam on? It is. Okay, what's your badge number? 24. All right, thank you. And what's your name, ma'am? Knuckles. Knuckles, what's your badge number? 47. And your, is your body cam on? It is. Thank you. And what's your name, ma'am? Costa. And your body cam on? They, yeah. And what's your ID? I'm 18. All right, thank you, sir. And what's your name? Ma'am, I'm sorry. Mary. Okay, thank you, sir. And what's your badge number? 41. And your, your body cam on? Thank you. Thank you. We walked in here. Good thing all their body cameras are on so we could put all four of their feeds on our stupid video. Really, if I didn't have all four of these, the, the video wouldn't make any sense. So, didn't say a word to nobody. And these two, these two okay. DCS agents so, okay. literally so came in and started screaming at us. And he threatened to punch you three us in the face. <sighs> you! You liar! <laughs> Where are they at? Okay. Uh, I think they ran in the back. I was asking yeah. for an open records request to submit We literally record. came in the door and they called. Stayed, instantly okay. came in. So I know y'all are going to honor y'all's oath and not violate the rights of the people today in a public space, in a public lobby, asking our government officials questions. So with that being said, I would politely uh, request that y'all go ahead and disengage, go back to work. There's nothing going on here. We're just in here asking questions and want to submit an open records request. And that's all well and good, but the minute you start loitering and being rude to these workers, they have the right to tell you, get out. They don't have to give you service. They can trespass you anytime they want. And I don't think it's a bad thing for these police officers to throw you out because you obviously don't want anything and you're just there to bother people. Okay. Well, uh, no need to think that we're here causing an issue or whatever. No, no, I no, 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 no. I haven't, no I haven't told anybody to stop filming. I no, haven't no, no. asked any questions. I'm literally just now trying to figure I'm out just, what's going uh, on. I'm, I'm just informing, go ahead and informing you of, 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 of what's going on. Uh -huh. And pretty much, I know we didn't call you here. You, you were called here by, by them. And that way, they... Everything's All right, so basically at this point, they're following the one officer into the office to talk with the two gentlemen who you saw earlier. And he's basically just going along with what they're saying. You know, he's he, they're trying to figure out what these people want. They haven't given them a straight answer. The officer is going to tell them that, yeah, they can stand out here as long as they're not bothering anyone, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but they are bothering people. They're asking these nonsensical questions and taking these nice people like that lady, Kim, before, away from their job. So there really is no reason why they shouldn't be able to kick these people out. But they're going to stay there for a few more minutes just so that they can get their, um, you know, their, I guess, kudos from their stupid viewers. I don't know what they achieved. They achieved nothing. They're just going to stand here. Complain, you see Russell there having the same conversation that he has with everyone else. And the officer tells the security guards, yeah, we encounter these these people all the time. They're just here because of their YouTube nonsense. You know, don't give them any, any credit. Don't give them any answers if you don't want to. And, I mean, the word's out on these people. Everyone knows what they're doing. And they call them straight out. They say this is for their YouTube. It's for online shenanigans, which everyone knows what it is. Hey, and they're going to continue to do this until YouTube decides to shut it down. And if they shut it down tomorrow, fine. I'll do another channel. I don't care. Hey, there's so many th things out there to make fun of and look at. But, I mean, these people infuriate the hell out of me. Just like they infuriate the hell out of you. So, until they outlaw this, we're going to keep watching these fools make bigger idiots out of themselves every single day. 
until it stops. Uh, they can't come. They can't come back here to where the courts sat and do that. They can't come into the private hall and do that. Uh, but as far as that public space, that public lobby, it's just like going to a post office into the public area, post office, or if they come even up to the police department in the front lobby, that's public space as well. They can come in there. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. You would like to you would like to file an open records request. That's that one. They're saying that you have to call Atlanta in order to do that. That's not right. Okay. Well, if you, if you feel this, and we, we keep trying to point this sign out here, they have a nice little sign because of the taxpayer. Will you Will you let me finish? Sure. This? All right. So you're saying that you want to file an open records request. Correct. And they're saying that you have to contact Atlanta. And they're, that's against the law. Okay. And if you feel that you have been wronged in filing the request and not being able to be or file it appropriately, then you're more than welcome to contact an attorney. Oh, absolutely. And he can file action on your behalf. Absolutely. Concerning that request. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, and we we're, we get what's going on. So, you know, I mean, we we understand that they don't want to do their job. So, okay, we'll, we'll handle that. Take care of that. Kind of separate matter. But now that you guys are here, we want to handle this matter. So. We have something to just going to block that purview. Okay. Well, what? Is there anything else? No, no, no. Y'all have a good day. You, Thank you, sir. Yeah, God bless. Be safe. Hey, slob. They just told you don't block the window name, with your please, gargantuan body. He asked. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. He asked. Please. It's right. Oh, that's okay. Thank you so much. You've been so helpful and so polite. Calling the police on us and everything. Okay, so um, I would like to submit an open record. I'm going to try one final attempt to submit an open records request to you. And can I do that? Just simple yes or no. Can I submit an open records request to you? I don't know anything about an open records request. Thank you so much. And Kimberly Vaughn. Okay. But yet they have a sign up here that says tax because of the yeah, taxpayer. Because of the taxpayer. Because of the taxpayer. Mm. The whole shift responded. <laughs> the whole shift. <laughs> and finally, we come to the end. They achieved their victory. They made cops come to this building for no reason. They gave honest, hardworking citizens a hard time. And now he gets to waddle his way out of the front door. And they put up the American flag like they actually believe it. It's so pathetic. These people are disgusting. I hope they get stopped or arrested or I don't even know. Just I hope bad things happen to them. Well, that's the end of another one. Uh, you know, please keep coming back. Like, subscribe, share my channel. I really do appreciate the support. Um, I... The First Amendment people are just so infuriating, almost as bad as the sovereign citizens, and I might get into the, some of them too. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick with these guys. So send me some ideas, give me some feedback. Uh, I do appreciate it. Until next time, let the shenanigans continue. That's a huge bitch! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new content creator. I mean... He looks like he has some potential. He has some uh, some fairly decent uh, editing skills for a new content creator. So let's give him some encouragement and uh, wish him well. And uh, give him a rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?